The clients live in a rural area. There's no 4G cellular network coverage in this place. He has set up a silent dish in his house to get the internet access. There's Wi-Fi coverage around his house, but sometimes he will do the planting job on the top of this mountain, then he will lose the internet access. There's about 1,000 meters between his house and this location. He wants to extend the Stalin network from his house to this location. The good thing is there's no trees between these two locations. It's pretty clean, so we can use the wireless technology to extend the network from the Stalin to this location. But there's another issue. Since the power source is unavailable on this location, then he needs to use the solar power system. All right, now let's see how we can extend the Stalin network to the second location with the solar power system. Before we get into the detail, I want to say we do have three online courses. It covers IP camera, access point, fiber optic cables, etc. I'll put the link in the description below. It's completely free. First, let's see what we have in the house. This is a Stalin Gen 2 satellite network. It will work with the satellite to receive the internet access. This is the router from the Stalin. This router not only provides the PoE power for this dish, but also provides the Wi-Fi coverage in this area. In order to extend the network to a second location, we need to find a way to split the internet from this system. But there's no internet port either from this dish or the router. So we need one device called Ethernet Adapter. This is the Stalin Ethernet Adapter. It has the output Ethernet output, which allow us to work with the Ethernet cable and extend the network. First, let's put this adapter to the system. I have to disconnect the power from this router. I connect it to this Ethernet adapter. Now let's put this Ethernet adapter to the wall and connect this patch code back to this router. So we didn't change the connection. This router still can get the Ethernet data from the dish, also provides the PoE power to the dish. But we have the Ethernet port on this device. Now we can work with the, another device to extend the network to the second location. The second device we need is called the wireless bridges. It's working in pair. We got one transmitter or receivers. It doesn't matter which one stay which way. They will come up with the wireless connectivity. It allows us to send the Ethernet traffic from the house to top of the mountain. Now let's install one of the wireless bridges in the house. There's two Ethernet ports on these wireless bridges. We can connect the Ethernet adapter to either of these ports. One port supports PoE. If we deploy these wireless bridges outside of the house, we can use this Ethernet cable to send the power to these wireless bridges. We'll use the DC power auction to demonstrate. First, let's power up these wireless bridges. You see the indicators on, the bridges getting the power. We do have the signal bar. It will indicate whether this transmitter is working with the receiver properly. One thing to be sure when you use the wireless bridges is there's clean sight between the transmitter and the receiver. Otherwise, the signal is not going to be weld. All right, we also need a short patch code to link these wireless bridges to our Ethernet adapter. Let's connect this patch code to these wireless bridges. And the setup is ready in the house. Let's move to the remote location. This is the solar power system on the top of the mountain. There are three key components in the solar power system. Solar panel, battery, and the solar charge controller. I will show another video to explain how to use Check GTP to design a solar power system. There's two output from this system. It's DC 12 volt. First, let's install these wireless bridges so we can work with the part in the house to come up with the wireless connectivity. The setup is quite simple. We only need to provide the power for these wireless bridges. Now we've seen the wireless bridges is getting the power. There's no need to 
configures these wireless bridges is being paired up in the factory. Basically, it's transparent to your network. It will send the signal from one end to another. But we still need the device to provide the Wi-Fi coverage because these wireless bridges only handle the transmission between these two locations. The last devices we need is the wireless access point. This is outdoor version wireless access point. Can provide the Wi-Fi in these areas so the owner can access the internet. The internet will go through the satellites and reach to the internet. Okay, now let's attach this wireless access point to this place. And we also need to provide the power to this wireless access point. One last step, we need to use a short patch code to link the internet port to our wireless bridges. So we got the internet traffic, then provide the Wi-Fi coverage on the top of the mountain. That's all. There's no need to configure the wireless bridges or the access point. As long as we have the internet access from this internet adapter, the setting will be fine. All right, that's for all for today's video. If you have any question, please post a message in the comment section below.